Okay, third take. It is now the 7th of June, I believe. I have nothing charged. Um, I'm at Coconine Gangalin. I took a video earlier, but I ran out of batteries. And I also took a um, Yenta for noodles, which I took a photo off on the blog. I took a video of that too, and I took a video of this place, but the battery's flat. So I'm just going to show you while everything is still charging. This is the restaurant and this is my report. So I'm going to read my report with you. Um, today's been okay for the 7th of June, a bit stressed because I've uh, made this recording three times. Um, this is my ice um, tea, but I'll have a yin to pour again and I'll take a video of that and I'll show you. So it has seafood, it has mushrooms, it has fish bowls, it has shrimps. It's pretty good. Um, but for the last five minutes, I'd like to read you my report. Um, it's a neurofeed brain scan uh, and it confirms a few really great things about my ADHD, my mood disorder. It talks about the tests have been done on the 21st, 22nd of the 11th, which is a day after um, I was actually sexually assaulted. <laughs> so I was um, traumatized because I had been sexually assaulted on the 21st on the date that he claimed was his birthday, but it's actually a birthday of his, I think, accomplice or cousin or sister or partner or whatever um, and the brain was done by Dr. John and he is part of brain training um, international in Deakin um, gonna try to keep my first his information private but he's fantastic he tests us for ADHD autism bipolar mood disorder uh, learning difficulties trauma those type of things um, and obviously no sign of schizophrenia Woohoo! Woohoo! Because um, that would have shown up in the scan. So, first of all, they, we talked about the client's um, ev evaluation of the neurofeedback intervention. Um, the complaints and symptoms include ADHD, fatigue, um, anxiety, depression, mood swings, eating disorder, exec executive cognitive dysfunction, and social skill uh, deficiency. Summary of findings, the alpha peak frequency is 11.47 Hz, which is fast. I was told 8 is normal. Um, beta spindles are maximal, fronto, centrally. The EEG phonotype is a low voltage fast. Fast. Um, MU rhythm or mu rhythms are bilateral. The theta or beta ratio is 1.5 semicolon 1. Uh, alpha is hyper coherent frontally at 0 0.5. Alpha intrusions are maximal in the posterior forward slash temporal regions and the left frontal temporal region. La Lorenta analysis indicates an anterior singular disturbance. The that's the summary of the findings. The interpret of the finding is that the alpha peak is faster than average, fostering a valiancy towards over arousal. That makes sense. I normally get over aroused, having hyperactivity in most good ways than none. Uh, they call it Ferrari brain, bicycle brakes. Beta spindles foster an irritable cortex with less capacity to tolerate stress. This pattern is a an atypical form of ADHD or AD forward slash HD seen in less than 15% of the population, not the average ADHD, but 15% of the population. The theta forward slash beta ratio is normal. Therefore, stim stimulant medication will likely be ineffective. Been taken off them. I'm looking for a beta blocker medication. Something starts with C, can't remember it right now. MU rhythm indicates a mirror neuron, neuron system deficiency, making learning form experience more difficult. That's why I have the memory issue um, and the visual learning cues um, to help me because I find remembering math and remembering math and names and also spelling quite difficult throughout my education. This deficient is highly represented, represented in both the ADHD and ASD population. So the, the deficit is highly represent, 
represented in both ADHD and ASD populations. See, I did it again with my words. Um, Hypercoherence in the alpha frontal is indicative of mild and forward slash moderate mood dysregulation. That's probably why I'm on the mood stabilizer because of the mood disorder, but I highly doubt that it's bipolar, but again, I'm not a psychiatrist. Um, dysregulation, right posterior temporal deficit, diminish um, spatial and emotional comprehension. That's why I bump into things with my car all the time. And I bump into things and stub my toes and bump my head. Verbal and non and non-verbal memory capacity may be challenged. Left frontal, frontal temporal deficit suggests working memory difficulties are likely. The patterns of right posterior temporal deficit with an, 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 an anterior cingulate disturbance is common in those that have suffered emotional trauma, PTSD, which makes sense with everything that I've been through, but I'll save the trauma and emotional trauma for another blog. And the newest feedback recommendation is T6CZ12215 hertz suppressing 4 to 12 and 20 to 30 hertz. Um, number two is FPZ, I don't know what that means, big FPs, small Z, suppressing 1 to 14 hertz, and that's some of the findings with neurofeedback recommendation by the um, psychiatrist and psychologist. But I have to leave now because they're closing, it's now 2.35 or something, I'm going to finish charging my stuff. That's all folks, so good news, I do have ADHD, so it's still sent far by the hyper mama, I might have a bit of Asperger's, I definitely have a huge deal of trauma so my paper and my research project for mindfulness and sense bar is going to be on addiction and on trauma and anxiety that's all folks see you next time